Hey Avenue Community Group. Uh, it is March 26th <clears throat> and uh, just logging on to uh, do a little devotional thought. I am not going to sing or play any instruments for you like Kyle did last night. Um, nobody is wanting to see that or hear that. So, uh, hey Shauna. And uh, good to see you, Lee and Misty, Rachel, Cermax, Aaron Beth. Uh, what, I think Aaron Beth gets like a perfect attendance sticker for these 8 o'clock um, live events. I don't know. If, if that's such a thing, I don't really know. But anyways, uh, Lee, good to see you this evening. Uh, Barb, always, always nice to see you on here. Um, so yeah, a couple of things. Uh, I'm excited that for the next three nights, we're going to do a little um, kind of go through one passage in Philippians chapter four. And uh, that's kind of what we're going to spend time doing uh, over the next three nights. Um, just spend a little bit of time in Philippians chapter four and talk about um, some joy. And uh, so, yeah, let me, uh, let me go ahead and read this passage, and then we're going to talk uh, about some of these verses and keep it going for the next couple of days. So Philippians chapter 4, uh, I'm going to read verses 4 through 9, and then we're going to come back and just talk about the first few. So it says, always be, joy, always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. So the uh, few verses I want to focus on tonight are verses uh, 4 through 6. And really, it's it's pretty difficult to to really fulfill what God is is encouraging us to do in these verses. Always be full of joy. That's tough. Um, I don't I don't know. I don't know anybody that's just always joyful and never ever um, struggles with it. So I, I think the 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 hum, humanity of us. You know, is is a some is something we have to really deal with. Um, but it says, "Always be full of joy in the Lord." Again, I say it: rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon, and we could we could definitely spend a lot of time talking about that last piece. The about as we are considered, as or as we consider, you know, everything we do, having the joy of the Lord. Um, remembering that he is coming soon. And this isn't, you know, a night to really, we're going to talk about, oh yeah, God's coming back, you know, today. But truth is, every generation of Christian of Christian is supposed to live with the eager expectation that the Lord could be coming tonight, could be coming, you know, we, we may not see tomorrow because the Lord may be coming before then. So, that is always a reminder for us. And then I really want to just focus more and kind of wrap up with, with verse number six, where it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And I think those are, those are amazing, like two sides of the same coin, you know? If we worry about everything, we'll find our prayer life is really is is really you know struggling because when we are when we are really resting in an assurance that God's in control it it helps us not to worry and if we're talking to God about our concerns and about our anxiety and about our worries 
right? What does he say? He says, cast your, cast your cares on me, for I care for you. And that, that prayer is that way that we access God's care for us. And prayer is where we can really go through the motion of taking our worries and exchanging them for God's peace. And that's really what prayer is. It, it, it should be for us, is that when we pray to God, we take our worries, we take our, our anxiety as humans that we have, and we go to God and we offer it in exchange. And we, we have this exchange with God, not just in thoughts or words, but in actually exchanging our anxiety for his peace. And the last part of that, verse number six, it says, tell God what you need and thank him for all that he's done. Again, looking at two different sides. So it is going to God with our needs. You know, prayer is about, you know, going with the burdens of our hearts, the very real needs that we have in this life and, and taking those to God. And on the other side of that coin that, that it just lists, is also thanking him for what he's already done. So it's saying, I need this, but I also thank you. I also recognize and I also give you the glory for providing for all of my needs in these other ways. And so it, again, is one of the ways that we exchange our anxiety for peace as we go to God in prayer. We're coming to him with all of our needs. We're, we're bringing our heart. We are casting our cares on him because we know that he cares for us and in so doing it also says and always you know be and thank him for all that he has done so as we reflect on god's provision and on god's goodness and on the grace of god that he gives us far more than than we deserve and far better than we could ever earn is it, it exchanges that, yes, we, have, we, we go with needs and anxiety and we, we receive from God, right, a focus on his provision, a focus that he has been faithful in the past, he'll be faithful in the future, and he, it, it exchanges our anxiety for peace. And uh, we're going to talk more about that uh, tomorrow. And so I want to encourage you to make sure that you tune in for that. That's going to be, um, you know, just kind of continuing that thought and really talking about uh, peace because that's something we all need right now. It's just something uh, that's very, very uh, tangible and real. So um, I apologize for the poor signal tonight, guys. Again, I'm in my house. Um, and uh, it's just not the best signal. So I apologize that we don't have um, some of you have struggled. With so I apologize for that. Tomorrow's might be better. Actually, I pre-recorded tomorrow's today, but it's good. Let me just tell you that. So um, thanks again for everything that you guys are doing. I've heard some awesome stories about just people caring for one another, people calling, people checking in on others, sending postcards all of those things to keep uh, in touch and that really makes a difference uh, for folks. So I want to ask you to pray. We are, uh, we are doing the meal for Everybody Counts this Sunday. Uh, we're not really serving it. We're just pretty much preparing it, taking it down and uh, having the staff at the rescue mission um, hand it out just because of the uh, stay at home order that's happening right now. So. Anyways, uh, I just want to wrap up and thank you guys again for jumping on board. I hope that this has been encouraging for you and uh, would encourage you to share it. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you for all you've done. We, we take a moment tonight just to look back, God, and if each one of us thinks about our own past, we can see your hand on our lives and we can see your provision in ways that we could have never guessed ahead of time. So God, we thank you for that. We, we lean into you at this time, God, as we are, are gonna be you know, challenged to know you better than ever before. And so as we think about the challenges that are ahead of us and the, 
the anxiety and the fears that we may have, Lord, I, I pray that you would remind us of your provision in the past and your faithfulness. And God, that you have been faithful and you will do it again. And so we don't know how you're going to get all of us through this situation, but Lord, we do pray for your guidance and for your protection, for your provision. God, we pray for all those that are sick. Lord, we pray for our community in Pueblo that you would protect um, more folks from from getting this virus and, and God, that you would help the ones that already have contracted it to heal quickly and not to spread it to anyone else. We especially lift up our, our older congregation and our older community, God, the ones in nursing homes, the ones that have health conditions, God. So we just pray for your protection on them. And God, we have peace to know that you are in control of all things. So even if some things go wrong for us, God, we know you're bigger than this, and you're going to get us through it. And so, God, we love you. We want to thank you. Thank you for each one uh, joining us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, hey, again, um, yeah, and uh, don't uh, don't hesitate to share stuff on this community. We are doing a different kind of groups. Um, new books at the avenue and i'm really excited about that so that's going to be almost like a uh, hey if you're brand new to the avenue or, or you're not really connected with other relationships it'll be a, a new group that will provide an opportunity to get plugged in so hey thank you guys one of these nights we'll have to do a zoom or a, a facetime not facetime but uh, a, a video chat where it's not just my ugly mug on the on the screen so uh, we'll do that one of these nights. All right, and hang in there. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.